Welcome to Kids Cooking Shop with your host, Barbara Beery. Welcome to Kids Cooking Shop Cupcake of the Month. I'm Barbara Beery, kids cooking expert and children's cookbook author. And I have the perfect cupcake with springtime just around the corner. A cupcake that's easy enough for a toddler to put together, but clever and creative enough for those teens and tweens to be enticed. Let me show you how to make our mini chocolate dipped cupcake pop. Take a look at this. This is a beautiful little cupcake dipped in white chocolate and decorated with sprinkles. And then I thought it was really cute to adorn it with a little bow for some more festive looks. Now you see how it's done. Let me show you how to put these together. We start off with little baked and cooled mini cupcakes. Here, take a look at this. You can get these little cupcake molds at any grocery store, any cupcake supply. And what you start out by doing is turning them with the bottom side up. Now here's a baker's trick I want to tell you about. The candy coating that's melted that we're actually going to use to cover these cupcakes, we're going to use on the candy stick before we insert it in the cupcake. And the reason for doing this is these cupcakes are nice and soft, but the candy sticks are hard. And when you put a little bit of the candy coating like I've done on the stick and put it inside the center of the cupcake, it helps it stick together and keeps that right in place just where you want it. After you've done that with all of your cupcakes, then just take your cupcakes with the sticks inserted and put them into the freezer for about two hours. Then when you take them out of the freezer, here's what it looks like. Let me show you a close up. And you take your little cupcake pop and the fun part comes when you get to coat it with this beautiful melted candy coating. Now melt the candy coating and let it cool for about maybe five or 10 minutes so it's safe and easy to work with. And then I have a little spatula and I'm just spooning it over the cupcake. And as I'm doing this, I'll tell you another little baker's tip. When you're doing cupcakes or cakes, it's always best to freeze them at least a couple of hours after they've been cooled because that helps those little tiny crumbs stick tightly to the cakes and you don't get a crummy icing. And that means you're gonna have a beautifully decorated cupcake. Whoa. And you'll have some sprinkles that will stick to this beautifully. Take a look at this. I love these cupcake pops. They're great little bites. I like to do the bottom and turn it over. And then I'm gonna coat a little bit more on the top. Swirl that around. And you can use white candy coating. You can find that at every grocery store. And I have some pink candy coating here too. Let me put a little bit of that on top to kind of show you how you can work with different colors. Swirl that on a little bit. And I'm gonna put a few more sprinkles on top. This pink candy coating and other colors are available at cake and bake shops and craft stores. And if you're using white candy coating and you wanna color it yourself, please make sure to use that powdered coloring because if you put wet color or any kind of gel paste into your candy coating, it's going to seize up and clump together and it will be a workable mess. So now we have our candy coated cupcake pops and I'm going to tell you, I think that's just about the perfect cupcake treat for any of your springtime parties. And remember, you can find this cupcake recipe and hundreds of kid friendly top quality cooking products at kidscookingshop.com. Thanks so much for joining us today, and remember, until next time, keep cooking up some fun.